How you doing? This is Don. I am from idletools.com. I am the Gun Muse. Okay, if you're just searching for the word Gun Muse because you want to watch the crazy asshole, yeah, found me. And you know what? I just went on here. Yeah. I was, I'm, I'm looking through. Uh, I got, matter of fact, I'm about to post up the video on multibots uh, while I'm coming in here. And so I'm, I'm I got a, I was just optimizing my thing for the multibots uh but i set up the multibots yesterday and then last night sitting on the couch i was sitting there on my phone just sitting there and i'm tuning these multibots okay so i got rid of all the individual bots uh i'm going to go back to doing some individual bots uh at a later date but i'm going to use uh coinbase.com they allow me to have separate accounts they allow me to set up things specifically for filming so that I can same, same show you what I'm talking about without trying to throw trickery numbers to get you to watch me. I don't want you guys going in here and seeing my great big, uh, the big numbers and going, oh, wow, he threw $400 in there and says 3000 now. Let's do what he's doing. It, it doesn't work that way, and I don't want to pretend for a second that it does. Uh, the, you know, I, I've always found being in business that if I'm honest with my customer, then I have better customers. If they know what I know, they know to do business with me. Because if, if I find out something that I was doing is wrong, I will stop, correct, and fix the problem. I don't want to be wrong. I'm that arrogant. I don't ever want to be wrong. So if you got some, it's like, hey, man, your math's wrong here. You tell me. I want to know. The, uh, and then I will tell everybody else just how wrong I was. Cause I don't want to be wrong. I'll, I'll hide how wrong I was. I'll say, oh, look here. Somebody helped me correct a problem. And I'm all better now. And now you can listen to me. And I'll, I'll, make, I'll make it up as I go, right? <laughs> that, that's the marketing, right? We can't look bad. We can't act like we have negative things that, that guide us. And we call it experience. Because you know what experience is, folks? Experience is what you get shortly after you need it. It's never there when you need it. It's always there after. Because your next decision is guided by experience and you don't cause the same problem. So don't be afraid of problems. Problems is knowledge. Problems is wisdom. I love it. I get up in the morning and say, what problems am I going to have today? Because I know when I go to bed that night, I'm going to be wiser than I was at 8 a.m. in the morning. Or 10, 12, depends on how much I drank, you know. I'm usually wearing the, uh, uh, my, uh, Jack Daniels hat. But it's Labor Day. I'm filming this on Labor Day. And you can't wear white after Labor Day. Well, you, I'm going to wear my Baton Death March cap. Uh, I, I got a hate on the governor of New Mexico who has reinstituted the mask policy the day after she got married couldn't have her caterers shut down or the chapel shut down that she got married in she waited until the day after and then signed off on a completely illegal mandate you wouldn't believe the wording on the signs on stores as per the request of our governor Luann Grisham we're requiring you to wear masks nobody's listening to that because it's illegal for her to say it. Last I knew, she didn't declare martial law. And all the science is in. Those masks don't stop squat. Everybody had to admit they don't stop anything. It's a fashion statement. She can't order to get a dress the way she wants to. Simply to show your support that you'll listen to the government no matter what. All right. But there's a reason I'm jumping this video while I'm doing the other video. though. I, I discovered something in Multibots that I think is very relevant to the bull run. Okay. Uh, you've got to excuse me. I did not set up my decks before I started in here. And I think... Setting up for a Zoom meeting for the military nonprofits tomorrow. That's what I was really in here for. Then I got into reading. I got into looking at some numbers. Uh, all right. So what you do here... Turn that on. Replug back in the phone. 
I got to tell my phone, yes, yes, it's okay. Although, I touched some other button. Man, has your guys' touchscreen been getting, like, super sensitive? I mean, like, you're literally clicking while you're, like, two inches above the screen now? All right. So, let's blow that up. You know what? Can I do this on this, just this screen? I can. I'll just do this. I won't even set up the decks. <clears throat> okay, so in the other video, I set up, uh, okay, so 6 o'clock is my, uh, do I have my clock right? You guys got to excuse me here. I just outed a whole bunch of people's birthdays. <laughs> okay, the clock's right on the phone. So it doesn't matter. So, yeah, it's 9 o'clock at night here. 6 o'clock is my reset time. And I just saw my little fat head in the way over here. Okay, so uh, we want to show you where we – so I'm three hours in, so I'm, I'm about three bucks an hour in U.S. dollars. Okay, so that tells me in U.S. rounded dollars. But i got to go here. I'm going to go to – these are completed trades, not bots anymore. So I had all those bots listed, okay, and uh, these are the bots I set up that I hadn't even got the video uploaded yet for. So I set this up yesterday. I did 38 bucks on that bot, $10, $10 on that bot, and the Binance bot is at $11 on the one that I just threw 400 bucks in there. So I did that math for you, but I want to show you, like, what I did here is I spent hours into the wee hours of the morning sorting Pairs. Okay. And these are my reading glasses. I cannot see that screen with that. Okay. Let me put up my green ones. Hey, look at there. I can read a screen now. Okay. So, uh, you see this one that I now says tiny USDT? That is all the Bitrix tradable USDT pairs. Every one of them. Okay. And I think it's like 51 of them if they could trade. Uh, if you just click the button... It will give you like 400 pairs, and you get all these errors. Okay, so I, I couldn't I couldn't show you these these damn errors all day long. So so you got all these fails that would say you're you know you couldn't do this. But now that I clean this up, this is where the discovery in this short little video that I'm putting up here now. Error placing base code order code self trade. I'm trading so fast that my bot is trying to buy my own crypto back because it knows it's going to go up before I've even gotten it sold. So this is like KMD USDT. It's on its way up. I've set the bot up to know to keep buying it as it goes, you know, buying it and it, because it's about to keep going up more. And the only sale available of KMD was my own. All right. And, I, and this ain't a promotion of KMD. We're going to go down through some other ones here. Uh, there's XEM, self-trade. Oh, I'm, I'm going right by a bunch. H-Bar, KMD again, Raven. Now, that one's going to be, I didn't have enough money. All right, there's enough Raven on the market. There's enough liquidity. Liquidity. So when people are talking about liquidity, I, I firmly believe they're kind of misusing the words just a little bit. Uh, they're not... It's the easy, lazy way to define that there's not enough property for sale on the market. Okay, why did I say the word property? Because crypto is property. Quit calling it currency. When you call it currency, the government's going to go, I agree with you. Therefore, the Secret Service, who is what in charge of counterfeiting, now, underneath counterfeiting laws, can say you're counterfeiting currency. Gives them all kinds of regulatory power. You can build any piece of property you want. You want to build a digital piece of property and sell it to somebody. There's no difference between a token and my website. If I want to sell my website, I don't have to have the secret service in there saying, well, those are, uh, those are currencies. They're digital properties, okay? 
There's billions and billions of websites. You guys got to watch this. Easy to try and get the big fat trading market that already exists into the crypto trading market. Because we want to be lazy about our YouTube channels. All right. You are empowering the government to destroy you. And when you decide they, oops, I made a mistake, and you pull up on the joystick from the nosedive you're going into their, their wording game, they will come after you in ways you cannot imagine. I am the gun muse. I promise you, been there, done that. Experience is what you get shortly after you need it. I've been fighting this in several industry fronts for years. I charge $175 an hour to guide businesses through fiery waters of unknown regulatory areas. The, uh, you know, anywhere from I'm building an, a multi-million volt ion implanter to I'm building an exhaust system for a diesel truck that exceeds the current standards for exhaust missions. Do I have to get permission to make it? And I'll tell you the answer that I told them. No, you don't. Make them sue you. And then when they sue you, don't even hire a lawyer. Walk in and tell the judge to say, hey, judge, can they provide the place where my, my things is worse than what their, their, their minimum standards are? They can't provide it. Judge has to throw it out. Don't even pay the $450 for the lawyer to read your email. Experience is what you get shortly after you need it. Trust me, you do not want a lawyer involved reading your emails when you're just justifiably right. The judge has to be on your side. You just need to have enough knowledge of what you're going to say and why you're going to say it. I'm cheaper than a judge, a uh, lawyer. Uh, in the case of that company that made that exhaust system, they went and asked permission anyway, and then the government told them no. So they built an exhaust system that lowered exhaust emissions, made the environmental safer, but it also increased fuel mileage on diesel trucks. And that was less tax dollars for the government. The government is not going to give you the, the license to make them lose money. All right. Remember, politics is money. Government is about politics. All right. So there's a liquidity issue in here with certain cryptos. Now, why is there a liquidity issue for certain cryptos? Okay, because Bitcoin's going through the roof right now. Uh, let me go down here. Uh, as I'm speaking, Bitcoin is a 52,000. It's up 1,100 bucks today. $52,000. Okay. Uh, and it's going. I'm very, very suspicious of the guys who turned around and said, hey, Bitcoin's going to $55,000 guaranteed. How do you guarantee that I'm going to trade something I own? You have to know somebody who is drip, drip, dripping a lot. I mean, I'm talking billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin out of the system. That's what makes it rise in value. Or you have to know that the U.S. dollar is going to tank so quickly because something's happening on the U.S. dollar side, and there's a bunch happening on the U.S. dollar side, but I'm not, I'm not going to chase that in this video. Uh, so all you have to do is watch what's happening with the U.S. dollar, knowing it's going to fall. Bitcoin is not going up. The U.S. dollar is falling. It makes the gap bigger, and it makes you have to have more U.S. dollars to buy a Bitcoin. So... My U.S. dollar is now so worthless that it takes 52,859 of them to buy one Bitcoin. All right. This is about perspective, and it's a hard thing for people to understand, especially in math. It's like I was talking about base 8 math, base 10 math, base 16 math. Uh, you know, it's a little easier for me because I, I do chip designs. I do, I, I do industrial layouts. Uh, I do, you know... Hey, you've set this machine too close to this machine, and this machine is raising the intake temperature 8 degrees, and that's causing your overheating issues. <clears throat> Upcoming video, I'm going to demonstrate that on actual graphic cards, because I've seen a couple of the other uh, YouTubers out there talking about how they're moving their, their card rigs around and how they built their card rigs. 
and I had one card that was getting hotter than the other cards and I went over and ran an air test and I'm going to show you guys how I did the air test and I found, I know why that one card's running hotter you know it, it's it's gonna it's gonna be one of those things that you're gonna want to want to see so make sure you like and subscribe uh, for that video uh, we're gonna get into some metal modification because of that one all right it, it's it's nothing scary but uh I gotta find my vice and my, my my cutting grinder to fix this air problem uh, on the video card because it's actually a bad card design uh, where they tried to add a feature to the graphics card for gaming and it's actually blocking air so much that it's forcing air back out the fans. So you're going to want to watch that video. You're going to want to watch why and how I found that. All right. So we're, we're looking at the liquidity issue on the multibots. Now, I did two things with the multibots. I want to show this because this is going to be referenced in a lot of videos in the future. Uh, so I'm going to my back. Maybe. Okay. Uh, you see where I got one that says, actually, I got it turned off. Okay, I got the tiny bot. That's the minimum bids that I can do. That's every pair that I can get into. And I'm putting in minimum bids. Minimum bids went from $5 to $8 on Matrix last night. In the middle of the night because Bitcoin went up. Okay, so everything is referenced in Bitcoin. At the end of the day, they're the gold in this market. All right. In a real financial market, there's gold standards, and then there's Federal Reserve dollar printing, which mim mimics gold standard, which has no standard, and that's why the dollar is dropping. So we don't want to get too far into that. But Bitcoin is the gold standard. So whoever holds all the Bitcoin determines the value of Bitcoin and everything that references Bitcoin, which is every cryptocurrency. Every cryptocurrency references Bitcoin. I don't care if they say they do or they don't, including Ethereum, guys. Ethereum ain't worth squat if Bitcoin ain't worth squat. I promise you, they have not made it on their own. There's a few projects out there that are trying to make it on their own because they know there's problems. Uh, Matic seems to be one that's trying. Uh, ADA, maybe. Uh, I'm going to get more into that later. Uh, and, and we should encourage products that are trying to make it on their own. A product that's trying to make it on its own is not going to explode in value overnight. But it's also not going to leave you penniless at the end of the year. Uh, because somebody made a decision that where they don't like you. Uh, so you, we got to be paying attention to that. But I also got this big multi-bot. I want to show this one. All right. We're going to go to options. And we're going to go edit so I can show you this. Now, I was just talking about the coins that are making it on their own. All right, so I've got, uh, I think, 23 coins out of the 300 that I cherry-picked uh, that are worth me putting a larger dollar amount in the initial investment of trades into, so I call it the big bot. And now I'm running all these big bots for the next step. So I'm, I'm running out of U.S. dollars. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to edit this down. Let's go down to 25. I'm only on the strong buys. I'm going to keep this at 1.35, but I'm going to take my 60 down to 45 on the safety volume. So that I can encourage a higher velocity of trading, price deviation, and I'm also going to take my take profit point. I already did it. Uh, I took it up to 3.0 about two hours ago from 2.0. Uh, that's making the bot hold it for a longer run. Okay, and so it's slowing bot velocity down trade velocity down which is what I because I was running out of my pool of money remember we're doing this on a shoestring budget but go in and look always a reference I always want to try and put a reference points in here and if I forget guys I'm really sorry okay so refresh I have four hundred eighty three dollars of USDT available for trading uh, I expect with the change that I just made 
that number should go up. All right. So let's go to my summary. There is $3,384 in there. But if I can go show my seven days. Uh, since yesterday, uh, that shows us about equal. I was close to $80 in trading today on US, on, on combined USD and USDT. But that's two different deals going on. Two different exchanges. Bitrix doesn't have the volume of Binance. Not even Binance US. Okay. Binance US has a much higher volume than Bitrix does. Uh, and since Bitrix <sighs> turned around and raised my minimum for dust tradings to $8, I might as well go to 10 And if I'm going to go to 10 I can go over to Binance now. I was only using Bitrix for determining which altcoins have very low liquidity to where if I if a bot said hey this is a good buy right now and I told it it can buy it seven times if it wants to it says nope sorry there's not enough of it out there to buy seven times and I'm buying at minimum so there wasn't forty dollars of that altcoin so when you saw that fail there wasn't forty dollars of that altcoin available for sale uh, I don't I would imagine that most of altcoins are on Uniswap. And I would tell the Uniswap guys, maybe figure out what Bitrix is selling. Not maybe figure out. I will post it on the Idle Tools website, all these pairs that I'm trading in. So if you got some of these altcoins that you're trying to sell, guess what, guys? I got a bot that's automatically buying them when they're when they're a good deal. Okay? So and I'm telling you right now, there's not enough of it out there to buy. I can't be the only one. And I'm making good money on it. So, oh, man, I hate this little. I Windows 10 did an update, and it keeps turning off my Bluetooth to save me power. And I have a rechargeable freaking uh, thing, and it just it just pisses me off. That's why the mouse always sticking. It's, it's, it's putting my network card asleep. And I've told it not to. I've gone into the registry and said, don't do that. And there's some new hidden way they're doing it, and it's pissing me off. Okay, so we go to deals. And Bitrix Tiny Bot. All right. So I'm making about 17 cents on a deal. Go back to DCA bots. Did I edit? I take profits at 3%. So I haven't taken profit on the tiny bot since I went to 3%. Yikes. Uh, so I went from 2 to 3. And I'm going to let that run for 24 hours on every single crypto. And I'm going to see. But see, my tiny bot, which is one is, is, is less than one-fourth the size of my big bot. I just lowered it, right? I was at uh, 30 bucks. I just lowered it. Uh, they should be, and this one's making me more money grossly, but it takes a larger amount of money to make that gross. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is get a comparison for both myself and for you. Which multi-bot set of pairs gives me the best velocity so that when I go off on a long weekend, I come back, look on Monday, and say, hey, looky there, I made a couple hundred bucks. That's the goal, right? It, that's what we would call passive income. Right now, I'm doing my research. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the guys that are doing, that are telling people what's the next greatest thing, like yada, 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 yada. And at the end of the day, I came to the conclusion, throw my money at it, and develop my own empirical data. I know for a certain that I've got stuff in here making me more money that they're not talking about. GRT being one of them. I made a killing off GRT yesterday. Uh, I don't see anybody talking about GRT. Uh, and I got to the point where I was buying back my own GRT. I ran that market dry buying and selling it. There's a few people out there trading it, but I my bots sucked it up. Uh, I, I'm getting one or two buys here and there on it, but 
Mm. You know, the buy bot's going to say buy because you can't get any. Hey, there's somebody saying, hey, like me that's out there says, hey, I want to buy this stuff. Uh, you know, so the Coinbase, I set up a Bitcoin, all the Bitcoin pairs on, on Coinbase. I've got, you know, this is one of the beautiful things here. I can go in here to the deals. Here's all the fails because I don't have no money. All right. So it's tried to trade in Bitcoin today. I don't have enough Bitcoin to do it. And I'm not going to chase the Bitcoin. I'm going to show you if I can find one of these two successful ones that I have. Oh, my gosh. How far down do I got to go? Fail, 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 fail. Uh, okay, so there's one. Down to, down 7%. Okay. And I'm not going to make profit on that one until it goes back above uh, from 2.5 251 ten thousandths of a penny of a Bitcoin to 275 ten thousandths of a Bitcoin. This is somebody selling off their altcoin, right? And it is in a trade market over on Coinbase, which means it's had some, they do, these trade exchanges do try to shut off coins that, that look like they're going to go to zero. <coughs> but I'm just playing with minimums in there. Okay. Uh, my base order was 0 .001 of it. So I own a lot of this stuff. If you guys want to buy OGN right now, <laughs> you'd be doing me a favor. I got another one in there that's that way. Uh, but then again, this is people taking their stuff out of alts into Bitcoin because they know Bitcoin's rising faster than their alt is. This is an obscure alt, right? This is an obscure alt. The owners of OGN have probably done this themselves. They, If you had a couple hundred million OGN coins and you saw Bitcoin on a rise of 10% over the next month, you would move your wallet over there for a short term and then put it back into your other wallet to shore up your liquidity. Okay. I'm not saying OGN did this. I'm just saying the enticement to do this is very, 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 very great. The uh, Which is good for my OGN over the long term. I'm going to, when they go to buy it back, they got to buy it back from me. There's got to be enough of it on the market to buy it back. I don't have that money, that much of it. But that's the way it works. Okay, so once I sell out of this, I won't be able to get back into it because there probably won't be enough liquidity in the market to get back into their own damn wallets. I don't know how long it takes to get back into their wallets. I would imagine they're, once they decide to exit their... Bitcoin position, they're going to have to go to something like U.S. Tether or U.S. Dollar and slowly do day trades till they get back into through Uniswap or something to get back into their, their, their position in their own currency. All right. And again, I'm not saying that's what they did do. I'm just saying it's way too enticing to take to shore up your altcoin with the Bitcoin climb. That's why I think the liquidity is down on the altcoins. Is I think a whole bunch of altcoins are shoring up their liquidity on the Bitcoin rise. Right? And remember, that's because I think the dollar's dropping, not Bitcoin's going up. But we're referencing a Bitcoin. A Bitcoin's a Bitcoin's a Bitcoin. All right. So, actual real world data using real money. This is not paper trading this is not me showing you some mythical hypothetical what if I did it I put my money on the line and I found the data I found the failure point there wasn't a coin to buy at eight dollars that's a failure point okay once I find now I'm gonna be able to download all these into an Excel spreadsheet right off my uh, three commas link below uh, and then I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna throw this into a database 
and then I'm going to throw this I'm going to throw some logarithms at that database that I'm going to be able to show you on the website that will give you a simpler view of what I've seen I hope uh, right now all this is in my head the values up here guys it ain't it ain't down here this is not currency this is property it's worth what I say it's worth uh, the fact that I'm using a blot a bot to blindly treat all altcoins equally which is what this bots doing and comparing it to BTC and I'm doing it across I'm sorry guys what is going on here here we go I'm doing it across several bots right and then I'm also using any bot that doesn't run out of funding so right now I'm not uh, I'm running two bots off the same pool the big bot and the multi bot and, and this bot okay well that means my little bots running out of funds too as much as my big bot so I got to get a bigger pool to run these side by side I got my cherry picked ones right and when they stop running out of funds then I can look at the data not beforehand while the bot is running out of funds showing you any data would be misrepresented data I won't do that okay so we're gonna have to wait until I get that chart up there but I've got the system in place developing the data that I'm gonna show you later on and then at that point we can sit down and have any discussion we want to well what happens if you do this I can go back to old data and plug your new what if in and figure out what happened what would have happened I can go back to 30 days ago and sh and then look at the everything that happened from there in it well what if I had done this 30 days ago oh I would have made more money uh, no I would have made less money the uh, it would have been the same no effect the uh, you know it you don't know until you try you know you gotta try some of the stuff so the Binance long bot which is just US dollars uh, I got it limited to 40 active deals I got it limited to 40 active deals because I only had $400 in there at $10 deals right but in the course of a day uh, my finance is up a hundred is up 25% <coughs> I made hundred and four dollars in the last little almost 48 hours on that four hundred dollars over at Binance why is that doing better than Bitrix ask the question even though I told you the answer earlier in the video Binance has more velocity to it there are more people buying and selling I have never gotten the uh, hey there's not enough stuff we need to be in Binance worldwide where there is a larger pool of people or more traders need to be in Binance US even though KYC is not working that doesn't stop you from trading you can send crypto to Binance US you can withdraw crypto from Binance US without KYC why crypto is property it is not currency to talk to your bank you need to talk about the currency again so I'm, I'm gonna specifically address blind run over there he I, I just watched his video he says hey there's gonna be a button where you can drop your crypto straight in your bank this is your safety net uh, I would like to encourage everybody to look at why KYC is not getting approved over here and say am I upset with it not really there's an extra step for moving my money okay I gotta send it out in crypto and for anybody and, and I'll tell you where uh, this is one of these things where I think people's past experiences are clouding the present problem solution okay if you are an ethereum miner and you like to move things around in ethereum and talk in ETH because you've become I know what the value of ETH is and, well moving ETH is expensive the fees are insane from Bitrix over to here was $62 as in the previous video but I can trade it for 30 cents to Raven and it only cost me one Raven to move it 
then I can get it into an exchange like Bitrix, convert it from Raven to USD for another 12 cents, send it to my bank. <coughs> Takes about an hour if I want to do that. And I'm going to have to do this. It's the middle of the month. Uh, I threw my entire production budget into trading knowing I was going to have bills to pay out of my production budget on the 15th. All right. We're only five days in. But I have made all the money that I need for all my bills in less than five days. I only have about a $660 nut to crack for my production. That includes my electric bills, everything else. And we're skyrocketing on some of this stuff. So I'm just going to let it sit here and keep spinning. Okay. Binance, I can't send it straight to my bank. So guess what, guys? That's why I use Binance for a project to show you guys. Okay. Uh, Coinbase and Bitrix, I can send money to my bank. I'm using Coinbase because my mining operation can send money to my trading operation fee-free. All right. And I got 15 minutes. Oh, God, come on. That's not what I want to do. I want to go up here. I want to window that. I want to drag that off the screen. And I want to go to pro hashing. Log in. Hey, I'm the gun muse. There I am. Okay. So, let me make sure I'm showing you what I think I'm showing you because I can't see the screen. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be up here. All right. So, that's all my mining operations minus the machine I'm filming on. Okay. I've got S9 miners, S7 miners. All making me, today they're making me Bitcoin. All right. They're not mining Bitcoin. They're mining Litecoin because Litecoin's worth more money. Oh, now they're mining Digibyte, right? I think the difficulty rate on 256 miners is going to get insane again because all those mining operations that were supposedly shut down in China were relocated to other places so that they couldn't get shut down Anytime that we go to shut down that stuff in the future through a, through a god-awful green regulation, it affects every major country in the G7. I think that's what happened with the move. All right. Uh, my opinion on these things tends to... My future predictions on things that no one knows anything about, I got a good 95% plus accuracy rating on it. The... Uh, and the reason is, I'm only looking at what would I do if I was a scumbag son of a bitch communist trying to screw the world over, and then I lay out that plan and it all comes to it all comes to work comes to life. All right, that's all you got to do to predict the future in today's world governments. Talk like a commie, act like you don't give a shit about anybody else around you, and it's all about you, and you've just delved into the thinking of what's about to happen next. Okay, so I'm going to be putting $17. And, and I got a couple more. I got, well, I got, no, I got uh, about 40 minutes left. So I'm going to be a little over 18 bucks on one day's operation of my little bitty mining operation. All right. So I'm, I don't know. What is that? What am I making a month? Well, hold on. They got some of that up here. Uh, They reset at the beginning of the month. They didn't reset uh, at exact 30 days. Uh, so my all-time, it says I made a little under 500 bucks on my little bitty operation. Guys, I didn't spend, I, I, this is my third month, I haven't spent that much on my mining operation. Uh, it took me a little bit to find stuff that worked and to get this system worked out uh, on how to get around the problems that I saw other YouTubers involving themselves in 
Uh, and it was one guy listening to another guy who hadn't figured out the problem, the solution yet. Uh, you know, there's an old saying in the military, if you work for, and, and I was a big sayer of this, don't bring me problems, bring me solutions. I don't give a shit what your problem is. I already, based on my experience as a guy who's done something longer in, in different fields, I already know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to solve my problem. And I know how I'm going to solve it based on my experience. If you can bring me a solution based on your experience, and then I look at that and say, well, shit, that's better than what I come up with. I'm going to steal your solution. Don't bring me problems. Bring me solutions. Uh, you know, this sucks. Doesn't fix anything. All right. That's... It's, you might as well say, I can't, I give up, and I don't want to try, you know, I, that's not me. Uh, you know, I, I'm sitting here freaking slowly dying by the day, guys. I'm still trying to build something new that no one's going to give a shit about when I die, right? And I have no qualms with that. This just interests me as a problem-solving venture. The uh, I'm making money problem-solving. The beautiful part of it is... I don't have to deal with a boss. I don't have to have somebody tell me I'm wrong uh, or I can't try. The only person who can tell me that's probably a bad idea is me. And I usually, if I step out of myself and go back and look at myself, what I'm doing and say, man, that's stupid. You shouldn't do that because I can do that. I can separate that train of thought. I have that capability. Every time I don't listen to myself when I do that, because I often say, eh, I'm going to try anyway. Uh, I was usually right. Hey, you shouldn't do that. You know, and, and it's, it's easy to say, well, that means you were right on both sides. So you're always, no, I mean, when I try to look at something impartially and I say, hey, you're, you're being stupid. This is why. Usually the this is why has come to life. And I knew they were going to come to life, but I did it anyway. Uh, out of stupidity. Uh Quite frankly, because I'm an adrenaline junkie, I swear to God, it, it's just like, just jump out of the damn plane already. Let's have a ball. You know, I grew up on a skydive drop zone. So taking leaps based on what's in your mind is all part of my, it been there for well over 50 years. Uh, that's why you're a crazy son of a bitch. You listen to me. All right. So uh, now my Bitcoin Normally, Bitcoin, and now with Bitcoin being worth so much, I would normally need to have 0. 0.0005 Bitcoin to get a daily input into my trading account. Now, remember, I was doing, you know, I, I've got to have 0. 0.001 to start a trade over there. So, right now, every three days, I'm going to have a trade capability. So I got two over there because I cleaned up all my other exchanges where I had some loose Bitcoin all over the place. And I sent it all over that one spot. <clears throat> That's how I got almost $100 of Bitcoin in there. I didn't actually mine it in there yet. Okay, I just, it was all my loose Bitcoin. I, and I paid a stupid fee for it. I sent $30 over there and it cost me 13 to send it. I sent, four, I had 40 some dollars in, in BTC. I sent it as BTC because I was being lazy and didn't want to convert it to Raven like I just told you to. I, it was just laziness. Wasn't stupidity. I just didn't want to do it. All right. If I'd have converted it to Raven, sent it as Raven, converted it back to BTC, all would have been well. But I didn't do it. I sent it straight to the wallet in BTC. Paid almost a 23% of the of the value of the BTC. I had this scrounging around. Forty-five dollars became thirty bucks. All right, so I create the problems, and, and I, I say, listen to what I'm telling you. It, it's it's based on the experience. I'm kicking myself for doing it as we speak because now this little thing plus that extra fifteen dollars would have added one more trade one day earlier if I'd have just not been lazy. Okay, let's call a spade a spade on this one. I was lazy. It was late. It was three in the morning. I was almost done. I just wanted it to end. Okay. So, like this video. But see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it into my Coinbase with no fees. 
So every day, we're there. So the very second I get that extra .001, the, uh, now I could hit that .001 if one of those trades closes. Remember, if one of those trade, if one of those altcoins actually does go up and I make a little profit, I get the .001.01, right? .01.01. So that .0034 would be a 0035 in mining. That's a little bit of money. Starts to add up. All right. And you see we're about to break 18 bucks there. I've been averaging about 18 bucks a day doing my, uh, I mean, you guys remember if you went back in my videos, I bought an A5 miner for a thousand bucks. And I said, I'm going to pay that off in two months. I'm 30 days in. Guess what, guys? I'm going to hit my goal. I'm going to cover that thousand dollar. Does it make a single profit per day cost in my two months? And then some. I already paid these others off. I just added hash power to my trade bot. Okay, I'm telling you, the world has decided that G, that that mining is here to stay, and now they are referencing in the true currency of the day is not altcoins, it's not Bitcoin, it's hash rate. So let's make very clear another another ode to Blind Run. Why you need to subscribe to Blind Run, okay? He is a mining expert. I I I, I believe him to be the gold standard in that YouTube niche. Uh, I matter of fact, not believe to be. I know him to be the gold standard because I know enough about how YouTube works to know he's doing about 50 things wrong and there's nobody even capable of kicking his ass on a topic. All right. He, he I, I was in his, uh, I, I paid the $10 a month to his channel, and I was in his uh, his Rocket Chat. Uh, go over to Blind Run, sign up for the two, it only takes $2 to get into the Rocket Chat. I am not going to build a chat room. Let's get that straight right now. Not ever, ever, ever going to happen. But go over, pay the $2 to Blind Run, get in his chat room, and he says you can cancel it right away. But why? The man's got to tolerate you. At least pay him the two bucks. Uh, I pay him ten bucks because I'm much harder to tolerate than most people. <laughs> the uh, even if you know I'm right, you hate the fact that I am. It's, it's just something about it. Okay. The but we're in there talking and and he's he's talking about well the logarithms this and the logarithms that on YouTube, and he does a whole bunch of stuff that's not even touching the logarithm you know he thinks the logarithm just treats him the way he wants to be treated or the way they think they they want to treat him is the way i took out of that conversation and i know there's a whole bunch of simple stuff he's not doing that he needs that would solidify him so that no matter what word he used he owns that word it's his word. The uh, I did that on the Guns of Glory channel. Okay, I own 65% of that market. I know for a fact that the Guns of Glory guys bought fake subscribers because I get more likes, more views on videos than they do. They have to go buy fake views and pretend I don't exist. They went to the... Uh, Google, Huawei, and said, no more deals for him. We need him to die. We can't have him having money. He owns our ass. We don't want him to exist. And since they were a $1.5 billion company providing 30 cents to the dollar, a half a billion dollars to these companies, they said, great, he's nothing to us. He's gone. And I, I, I just said this in Blind Run's Rocket Chat. If they don't make you, they can't break you. So while these guys are offering me $20,000 a month contracts to promote product that I'm turning down because I don't want to promote their product, they cheat their customers. I don't want my viewers cheated. 
I know next year I'll do much better if everybody knows that my goal is to tell you the truth. I don't need them to validate my credibility. I've been telling the truth my whole damn life. Unless we're in a bar, the lights were low. When the ugly lights came on, if I told you the truth, I went home alone. We'll talk to you later.